Hey guys, uh, how's everybody doing out there? My Vernon Kid here. Back again. How's everybody doing? So what is the Honorable Warrior, the Omni Geek High Lord of New York, here to talk about? Well, you're looking at her. It would seem that the... I'm here to give my kind of thoughts on the trailer of uh, the Supergirl series that is coming out for CBS this fall and uh, what did I think? I'm not going to go too long but I'm just going to give an overall thoughts on it now it's always been said guys that you know we can't really judge on terms of quality in terms of a trailer in a sense sometimes you can sometimes you can't but I think one of the most deep down thoughts for all of us no matter if you're a fan of Kara Zarel or not the biggest fear, and I'm going to let you know right now, the biggest fear I had with this series, and I still kind of have with this series, is the network that it's on, CBS. Now, I'm not going to say, now I'm not denying that I watch a lot of shows on CBS, I certainly do, and I'm glad to see a lot of them that I do watch on CBS is coming back for, has been renewed. But... CBS has never touched on kind of the fantasy that I can recall. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I could be wrong. But something like Supergirl never really touched on. Now, as you all know, Gotham is a, say what you want, it's a hit on Fox. It's a hit. But it, it has alienated, alienated a lot of fans of the Batman. Batman mythos. This right here, from watching the trailer, really I enjoyed the vibe of it. Now, it's, it's produced by the same people that produce Arrow and Flash. I like the vibe of it, where literally we are seeing Kara come into her own woman, in a sense, uh, which I, I, I dig the vibe. A friend of mine said he, it, he felt like it had a little bit of a Sailor Moon vibe to it. I, I've watched this trailer like a couple of times already, and I can see a little bit of the Sailor Moon vibe that he's talking about. You know, here's a woman who has this very, very publicized cousin in terms of Superman, but she doesn't really want to ride on his coattail. Um, the other kind of vibe that I got from it is a little bit of, God rest his soul, a Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson kind of vibe where, you know, Janet became her own individual as well, you know, let her, on top of her being the sibling to the famous Michael Jackson. That's how, that's the kind of vibe I got from this. Here she is working in this kind of fashion design area and she's kind of like the secretary and things like that. But she has all these great abilities that she knows that she can use. And it took literally an incident to let her become that woman, in a sense. And I like that. I thought that, that vibe was really good. Um, it plays off the fact that, you know, she's kind of scared, you know, she don't, in a sense of what can she do, what she can't do, you know. And, once again, still playing off that vibe of, my cousin did it this way, but I'm, I have to do it my way. And I like that. Um, the, the fact that, I love the, the fact that we kind of saw different variations of her costume, which was interesting. I also like the fact that there are certain people that are going to know her identity seeming right away. You know, that she's leading this dual life. I, I like that. You know, we saw Jimmy Olsen in this uh, this version of Jimmy Olsen. Once again, you know, somebody's probably going to ask, Yo, Chris, so how do you feel about Jimmy? His, his race has changed. We know you're kind of not big on that. Look, if I, Jimmy is a very important character to the Superman mythos. And I can understand where some hardcore fans will come from and say, why did you make him that? You know, but if he still carries the essence of Jimmy Olsen, but add his own twist to it, I'll be okay with it. Uh, but I do like the fact that Jimmy knows and kind of is 
helping her in a sense I enjoyed that we also have the fact of um, not gonna go too deep into some of the Easter eggs but there were a lot of couple of Easter eggs that were in there but uh, the military especially a certain general I'm not gonna name that general but kinda like wary on her and you know like saying you know I don't need your help and things like that but it's it's almost in a sense playing up that vibe of I'm gonna do it my way I can do it so I'm gonna just do it and prove everybody that I can and also represent the house of L as much as my cousin does which I enjoy I, I enjoyed the, the the aspects of her the bullets bouncing on I love that that was really cool um, the seeming the flying se sequences seem to be pretty interesting you know uh, but I very much enjoyed this trailer I was sold the moment how Miss uh, Bionis uh, that's how you pronounce her name right I'm over pronouncing it right how her portrayal of Kara is coming don't get me wrong guys I know there are some people out there that are probably missing Laura Vander Vanderroot I believe that's her name correct me who played Kara from Smallville and but she is all for Miss Bionis and hoping nothing but the best for her I, um, I love that I love stuff like that as well and uh, I'm looking forward to this. this is, I hope this really sells well but still behind there is still that fear of me as a fan and as a person who's who's watch CBS and knows that they don't have shows like this you know that go really in depth into the fantasy realm and hopefully it will do well on Mondays because it will be on Mondays uh, but do am I so the other question you probably ask yourself is will you do weekly reviews of this uh, we'll see we'll see um, if I get a good reception or maybe, ah, oh shit, yeah, I will, uh, forget it, yeah, I will, um, I will, I, I will do weekly reviews, I only do Flash weekly reviews, so, it'd be good to have another superhero show to weekly review like I do on this channel, uh, but, I applaud Miss Albionis, uh, for what we saw, it was, it was very interesting, I did not have really too much regrets, I love the vibe of you know that feeling of your how to how to how can I also put it that feeling of you're in a, a powerful family and it's almost now it's almost you have to live up to that measure up to somebody who's came before you and that's why I kind of had that I kind of saw a little bit of that Michael Jackson Janet Jackson kind of vibe of you know here's Michael God rest his soul, top, and then you have the other siblings, and it's almost, they're good, but it's just like, when you think about the Jacksons, who's the first one that pops in your head, so kind of, that's kind of how I feel about this, but also knowing that Superman is all for it, now in terms of, hopefully, we'll see some good villains, or, you know, good different takes of villains, one of the villains I'm hoping, I'm damn sure hoping, I'm just going to give you one that I hope to see, we do see on here, is Silver Banshee. I think Silver Banshee is a, is a must have on this series. I think it would work so perfectly. Silver Banshee was more of a Supergirl villain than a Superman villain, but definitely Silver Banshee would work. Uh, but other than that, um, I think she looks great. Um, looking forward to it and uh, just have to wait till fall Monday the fall uh, of uh, Supergirl and, um, so but other than that guys what did you think of the trailer if you have not seen it um, there is a link in the description um, that will let you see I think it's, it's about six minutes long um, so to give you like a, a taste of it of what it what the vibe of it's gonna be like but other than that I enjoyed it very much. And uh, this is Mom Running Kid saying peace, one love, stay tuned, get real. The Honorable Warrior, the Omni Geek High Lord, bid you adieu. Take care, guys.